Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your weekly screencast video. So, uh, as I say, uh, as we enter the final weeks of the semester, the weekly schedule and screencast video, where I'll talk about the due dates to begin this screencast video. Remember, we have peer review number one is due Monday end of day, and peer review number two will be due Wednesday end of day. There is no discussion board activity this week because we're working through the peer review process. Hopefully everybody can um, receive some quality feedback from your peers and move towards preparing the uh, final draft of the research essay, which is due Sunday, the 26th end of day. Now, uh, during the course of the week, I will review drafts and post those probably in your folder. More than likely, I'm thinking about making a copy of your first draft and working in that draft and uh, uploading it to your folder so it would be there. I'd like to preserve your original first draft copy for your peers uh, so that you all can help each other throughout this week in preparing for the final draft, right? So once again, just taking a look at the peer review process, um, getting into the research essay folder. Everybody has filled out the peer review report. Remember, you would get into um, a folder here, look for the peer review report for the first draft. Open that up, read the draft, read the report of the um, student whose draft it is there, what they had to say about their journey and the three things that they're looking for, and you'll complete your peer review in that document. So uh, that'll be this process. It'll probably be the last one we roll through because I don't believe we have a peer review for the Regenre project. I will talk about our last project uh, next uh, week. Uh, for the weekly screencast, and we'll talk about how to reshape your research topic into a multimodal type composition, right? You might want to look ahead at that particular unit. So for a minute here, I want to jump to the course unit just to give you a little bit of an overview in Chapter 5, I believe, is the, five, the research essay assignment. Now, the research essay assignment is really similar to the first draft. You'll see much of the same language here. Okay, so what I'm looking for is, uh, that's really why I came up with the criteria for the first draft. So if you've completed most of that, uh, those steps and that criteria, um, you should be in good shape for the research essay. So remember, you have to have a research essay for the final draft of about 2,500 words. Okay, you have all your sources that you've accumulated. A minimum of six sources of information are required. You can add more. If you have found new sources, you can include new sources, but they require the same type of uh, citation, both in text and add them to the Works Cited page. Once again, remember all Works Cited pages must be organized alphabetically and each citation must have a hanging indent. So I'm making that clear at this time, all right? So whatever your organizational pattern, look at my criteria. Um, as I say, a syllabus emailing a document does not constitute submission. All research essays must be submitted in the appropriate assignment in Blackboard. And then ultimately here, I give you the link to the research essay folder and the GDoc link to your final draft. Now, you should have, let me say this again, you should have a document in there labeled first draft, your last name and first draft, and you should have a document labeled your last name and final draft. So, and make sure that you upload the final draft, the one you want me to assess, um, to uh, Blackboard, that GDoc link, all right? Be sure of your um, labeling of documents and uploading to Blackboard. Um, if I see that you've uploaded something that says first draft, I will comment and ask you about it. I probably will give you a zero to make sure you react and tell me whether or not I am assessing the correct draft, right? Obviously, um, nothing uh, would uh, 
cause a little bit of uh, frustration uh, on my part if I'm grading the wrong draft and you then discover that you uploaded the wrong or the incorrect uh, draft and uh, then I have to grade something uh, a second time all right so you want to make sure that you are uploading your best effort I believe the uh, assignment is worth I think this is worth like another 200 points right I'll have to double check the syllabus and see what that would be, but I'm almost positive this is worth at least uh, another 20%. Uh, oh, yes, 20% of your course grade, right? So you want to make sure that you have your best draft completely proofed um, uh, before you upload. All right, so let's get back to the announcements page. Uh, we've talked about the peer review process, the research essay, the final draft, and the schedule. So everything should be uh, all set for the week. Uh, I'll come out with a lecture video about midweek. might be about uh, revisions and some of the components in Chapter 5. And we'll move on to the genre project after this week. If you have any questions or issues, please um, send me an email. All right. Good luck and stay safe.